What's up YouTube? I'm sure this one you're gonna love it. This is screen replacement in Adobe After Effects. Click the subscribe button and enable the notification with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. All right, all right. We are in uh, Premiere After Effects. Um, I have a couple of videos. This is the video I want to use to replace the screen with. And this is the video of the screen itself. So what I want to do is basically I want to replace this phone screen, this green screen with uh, this footage here. First off, I'm going to create a new composition and I'm going to stay on very default value. It's 1080p, 24 frames per second, background color is black, that's all default. And I'm going to call it screen replacement. Now, in this composition, I'm going to drag the footage of the iPhone. Because I'm going to use Mocha effect and Mocha really likes to track stable footages, I'm going to select the part of the footage I want to use and then I'm going to stabilize it a little bit. Right click, trim comp to work area. This is going to trim the composition to a new length, which is what I want. There is slide out of focus here from time to time, but that shouldn't be a big issue. Uh, now, I'm going to stabilize this footage, so I'm going to look for Warp Stabilizer, I'm going to drop it into the footage, and I'm going to wait for After Effects to do its own things. Alright, video is stabilized, so I'm going to select the video and then File, Export, Add to Render Queue. So I'm just going to hit Render and I'm going to render the video. With the export done, back to After Effects, um, right click, import file. I'm going to import a file that I've just exported. And so far, this is my new composition. Right, perfect. I'm gonna make sure to be the beginning of the clip now. And then I'm going to select the clip, animation, track in Mocha AE. Now, this is a third-party software. It's not an Adobe software, but it's shipped in, uh, with some reduced functionalities as part of Adobe uh, After Effects. I'm just going to leave everything to default. I don't really care about anything here. This is just for the sake of this demonstration. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to make sure that the playhead is right at the beginning. When I'm at the beginning, I'm going to get uh, X spline tool and I'm going to be surrounding the screen of the phone. Now, when I'm done surrounding the shape of the screen on the phone, any point, right click and this will define the shape. At this stage is not really important the precision. The important thing is that this round line is surrounding entirely the object I want to track. And so I'm going to make sure that the screen is contained within this line and that should be it. Now, because we are tracking a surface, so we are not tracking a point, there, there is going to be translation, scale, rotation and, and perspective. So I need to add um, surface tracking. So I'm going to click on show planar surface and now I need to be, well, as precise as possible to line up this point with the vertexes of the surface I want to track. So I'll try to be as precise as possible here. Right, with that done, um, I'm going to make sure that motion is translation, because this surface is going to translate. It's probably going to have perspective some sort of scalar rotation, shear, yeah, maybe I'll leave it there. Doesn't definitely hurt. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna track the surface with this track forwards. Um, now, Mocha is done with the tracking and we can quickly check by skimming through the timeline. And we can see that the surface is pretty much on place and the 
just scaling, perspecting, and do all the things. Now, what we need to do is jump back to After Effects. And then we're going to create a new solid layer. Doesn't really matter the color because this is a placeholder. And this is going to be my screen composition. Then I right click on the solid layer and I'm going to pre-compose and well, screen composition, it's okay. Right. Now, back to Mocha. Click on export tracking data. Uh, make sure to have the second option selected. After Effects Corner Pin supports Motion Blur. And then copy to clipboard. This is gonna copy all the tracking data into the clipboard of your computer and that will allow us to switch back to After Effects. Select the pre-composition screen COM2. Then I'm gonna twirl open the properties. Click on Transform and Command V on a Mac, Control C on a PC. And this is gonna paste all that beautiful tracking data that Mocha produced in After Effects. And as you can see, now the red layer is sticky to the iPhone screen. Now, last step is to replace the red layer with the video we want to use as a replacement. So double click on the composition, on the pre-composition. Now, this is the video we wanna use with the Samsung guy. I'm gonna drag it on top of the solid layer. And at this point, if I go back to the main composition, I will see that, bam, by magic, I replaced the screen of the iPhone. And there you have it. That's your screen replacement in Adobe After Effects.